Right. Mega Drive Ultimate Collection, for those who remember the Sega Mega Drive. Before the Dreamcast, obviously. Uh, this has got a collection of a load of stuff on it. All the classics, all the Beast, Comic Zone, Neck of the Dolphin, even Flicky, Golden Axe, Kid Chameleon, Fantasy Star 2, Ristar, Shining Force, you know, being Sonic. You know, it's got all of them. No, I will plug into Sonic for a minute. Must remember this. Was it 1992 or 93? Sega, Sega e even back then, even before the Dreamcast. Well before that time. Who remembers this? Sonic. No, I, I wasn't a big Sonic fan. Because during this time I was first I was firmly in oh, I was firmly in Nintendo's world. I was firmly in Nintendo's camp with the snares. I wasn't much of a. I mean, yeah, I, was, I appreciated Sega games. I mean, who doesn't? But back when this was released, I was firmly, I was firmly in the Nintendo camp. So I wasn't that much into Sonic back in the day. As I said, I appreciate it. Uh, for the arcade game, it was, but I had other things on my mind when uh, Sonic was released. But uh, I can appreciate it now, and it's fantastic. This is a great game. I didn't become much of a Sega fan, and of course I, I mean, of course I had the uh, the Sega Drive. But I wasn't much of a, I don't know, I wasn't much of a Sonic fan. I, you know, I loved Golden Axe and I loved Streets of Rage and Shinobi and, you know, all the classics, but probably one of the biggest classics of all, Sonic, this one, I wasn't much a fan of. I think it, you know, I mean, it was when the Dreamcast came out. That's when I became firmly rooted in Sega stuff. Ah. Brilliant. I mean, how can it not be brilliant? But back in the day, I was not ah, I was not much into it. The Streets of Rage got my attention more than Sonic and Golden Axe, of course. But I'm loving it now. And of course I appreciate how much... Hmm, how much of an inspiration Sonic was to load. So anyway, um, apart from me whittling it on, let, let's go on to... Um, ah, 
Let's go on to Streets of Rage. Now this is where I was back in the Sega days. I love this game. I can remember getting my Sega Pega Drive and rushing home just to play this game. This city was once a happy, peaceful place until one day a powerful secret. Anyway, I'm out of all that. This was it for me. I loved fighting games. It wasn't too, uh. Let's choose Blaze. Wasn't too happy with the platformers and the Sonics, but this, I love fighting games. Still do. But I, I advise anyone with a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox. 360 to get this game, especially if you love the old, the old Mega Drive games. And look at it. It looks fantastic even now. I mean, yeah, all right. Some of the visuals look dated, but by and large, it looks excellent. It plays good. Doesn't it? The proof is in the thing and. You know, if you know, I mean, even after all these years, I still come back to it, and I still enjoy this game. I love Street Fighter. Reminds me of Double Dragon, one of my absolute favourites. And um, yeah, I mean, really colourful. So that one more go value. When this came out on the Mega Drive, I was like, utterly blown away. And more than satisfied that I had a Double Dragon game on my hands. So I, I'd always wanted Double Dragon in the home. So I love that game. But, um, this seemed to even, you know, surpass even Double Dragon for me. And the fact that I had it in the home on the Pega Drive was, you know, a major plus. Look at it, it looks fantastic. Look at this, you know, look at the background. I mean, the sound wasn't the best, but then again, the sound wasn't the best in any game back then. Come on. I love this game. Oh, you fucker. Those flying kicks. <laughs> Come on. I mean, look at the background looks in it. It looks brilliant. Colourful. Everything I see is renowned for. Those women with whips. Now, now normally I like girls with whips, but um, they're not so kinky in this game. Ah, anyway, that's Streets of Rage. Brilliant.